Hello, beautiful people. How are you? Welcome back to Buzzsaw. Today, we're going to be talking about making your watch do some really sick stuff. Yo, what's up, guys? My name's Ben, and today I'm going to show you how to make your watch look like it has iOS 100,000 million, 100 billion. That's a lot of iOS. Anyway, check out the clip. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't feel very good because that was sick. Without further ado, let's get started. Now that we're in our editor, the first thing that you want to do is import your clip. Next, right click on your clip and go up to make composite shot. The next step is to go through and find where you want your UI to appear on your watch. For me, it's going to be right about here. Now, select your layer, click on this drop down menu. On tracks, click the green plus sign. This will open this side menu over here that we can shrink way down. And now you have a little tracker in the center of your workspace. So, since my shot doesn't have a lot of movement, I'm just going to leave it single point, but you can use double points if there's a lot of movement in your shot. Single point will only move the X and Y axis, and double points will change X and Y as well as scale and rotation. So now we're going to come down here and we're going to take our tracker and try and match it up with the watch. Now you come over here and push track forward. If your tracker runs into any errors, you'll need to go back with these keys and put in custom keyframes for your track. Next, come down here to new layer, create a new point layer, come back down here and click on the tracker, and now we're going to leave this to transform and then on the layer we're going to use our new point then click apply so now we can close out of our track panel up here switch back over to the viewer tab instead of the layer tab now the first thing we want to do is we want to add in a lens flare off of our watch to just give it a more of a sci-fi vibe so come over here to new layer new plane and select transparent for the color you can rename these if you want now come over here to effects and type in lens flare Select the light flares effect and drag it onto your lens flare layer. Next, you can come up here to the drop down menu for light flares. Over here is your entire list of light flares and you can choose whichever one you want. I chose to use digital blocks. Now we want to come down here to the hotspot position and we're going to use layer watch point. Next, we want to position this onto where our watch will be. Now if we come down here and scrub through our footage, we can actually see that the lens flare does follow the watch for most of the footage. However, it stops at the beginning and the end. The first thing we're going to do is we find where we want our lens flare to start precisely. Then you're going to come over to the intensity tab and turn on the keyframes and drop it to zero. Skip forward a few frames and put the intensity to however bright you want the watch to be. And now we go through to the end of where we want our watch to disappear and do the same steps. Now if we come through and scrub, it'll look pretty good. The next step is the really easy part. First, import all of the footage that you want to use for your UI. Position your timeline to where you want your UI to appear and then simply drag them all on where you want them to start. Now you want to size everything up and change the blend modes to add or screen. Then position them and scale them down to how you want them to be on the hologram. Once you have everything set up where you want it to be, come down here to the parent tab and parent all of them to the original watch point that we created. Now you're going to scrub through the footage to where the hologram ends and end all the clips there. Now we can stop right here because this is going to look fine, but we can add a little bit of an extra pizzazz onto this effect. What you're going to do is come to effects, come down to the distort category, and you can use any of these effects as you like. I'm going to choose to use the de-res effect, but you can use any of them. Drag the effect onto one of the layers, and you'll see that it immediately makes it more pixelated. But we want to come down here into the options, and we're going to keyframe the strength of the pixelation. Go forward a few frames, and then decrease the strength to zero. 
Now scrub through to the very end when all the holograms disappear and repeat the effect, except this time you make the strength of the pixelation go up. Scroll back to the beginning of when all of your clips come in as holograms. Go down to D-Res or whatever clip you have selected. You can copy this and then you can paste this effect onto all of the rest of your layers that you want this effect to have. That's all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked watching this video, go over to my channel and check out the other videos that are similar to this one. Or if you want to see more of these kind of videos, hit the subscribe button and you'll see all of the videos I post from now on. As always, thanks for watching and you have a great day.